Uh, my name's John McCree and I play Jamie New in Everybody's Talking About Jamie. My name's Josie Walker and I play Margaret New in Everybody's Talking About Jamie. Hi, I'm Jamie Campbell, I'm the inspiration behind Everybody's Talking About Jamie. <laughs> and I'm Margaret, he's mum. They were inspired by the original documentary, but they didn't just want it to be a complete retelling of my story. They said when they were writing it, they didn't want to be limited creatively to be thinking, what would Jamie Campbell do? They wanted it to be Jamie New, that's why he's called Jamie New in the show, which I think is quite funny. We're living in such a strange time at the moment of transition and I think Jamie's story echoes that because he's transitioning as well but in a very positive human way that we can identify with him. Like on the surface like people might just think it's just the drag musical but really what I love so much about the show is that drag sort of takes the back seat. It's, it's the relationship between me and my mum that it focuses so heavily on and that's the most important thing because that's what the documentary was about when I was doing it. I wouldn't have been able to do anything if I didn't have this amazing mother. I think, it's, mother also, I think it's also about belief. Just if you think you could do something, just go for it. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. We kind of really clicked when we did the first workshop, luckily. And I think she's lying. I think a lot, I think a lot of our, our relationship as Josie and as John did the wrong gesturing as <laughs> Josie that, and yeah. as John mm. has has fed its way into into the writing of Jamie and Margaret. You do things like me and him do, you know, if, um, if they're sitting there together and John's got something on his face, Josie will automatically wipe it off, which that's what I would do. If he's doing something, she'll nudge him and, and that's what that. we do and it's kind of, they haven't watched us, it's just that's what they do. It's brilliant to have her to refer to because she's not the kind of woman that would say, that's not me. She understands completely that it's all for drama purposes, that we've added a lot of drama to her because I think if we showed her as she is, she's almost touching sainthood. In the past, um, and well, since being 16, doing the documentary, um, Fifi the True, my drag persona, just completely took over everything to do with me. Everything I did, it was always for Fifi the True, and I just, I didn't feel confident or comfortable as Jamie, but now I'm starting to realise that I am beautiful and fun and fabulous and everything I am as Fifi as Jamie as well. So the musical has helped me realise that as well. And the response from the Sheffield audience was so overwhelming. And then Jamie and Margaret came on stage and that was the first time I'd met her. And we just stared at each other and it was just like looking deep inside someone. They pulled us down on stage and all we could do was like, cry and cuddle each other. And, and then they left us on stage for ages so we were like... <laughs> it's also really interesting, especially at the moment, specifically to, uh, to celebrate what it means to be feminine and effeminate and ask questions and educate ourselves on what it means to be masculine and where this stereotypes sit in society. <laughs> when I did the documentary, it did get quite a big response at the time, but obviously that was a documentary five years ago. Like, I always knew I was destined for something fabulous, but I didn't think they would like make a West End musical like inspired by me. It's a bit surreal, really. You know, it's, um, everybody, like Jamie says, is fabulous. It's just grown so massive and very emotional. Every time we see it, and the prayers of everybody has been brilliant.